culture called hip hop. Why don't we know this is our destruction? These people are worshiping the oppressor. Now the Baphomet represents colonial, colonialism, capitalism, all right? So what's on top of Birdman's head is actually the Baphomet or Uncle Sam. I'll show you here. He's copying off his God. Let me show you his God. See, his God, his God got a five-pointed star on his head, too. This is Birdman's God. This is the Baphomet goat. They worship in money, capitalism, and this was the first God of it right here. This is Uncle Sam. You can see that it looked just like him. They didn't do nothing but take this goat and make it into this man. You can see they look just alike. And they both got the little five-pointed star on the top of their head. So what is baby telling you? He's connected, y'all. See, a lot of these rich niggas, they connected with mob ties, buddy. They are connected with some powerful people. And they have a contract with these white men to go out and recruit the next young black man that's going to corrupt and lead the next generation astray. These are the modern day pastors on the plantation. You got to keep the slaves dumbed down. See, listen, people, when the, when the pastor who was working for Massa saw the slaves talking about math and reading and how much water we would need to break free from this plantation. See, this is how the slaves was thinking. They was doing calculations. They was doing critical thinking. And that wasn't good for Massa. So Massa had to dumb them down and say, niggas, y'all talking about math. You calculate shit. If you keep thinking like that, you're going to figure out a way to escape this plantation. So they had the reverend there to keep them dumb and say, hey, man, ain't no need of you trying to escape because you're going to die because master going to catch you. And when you die, you're going to burn in hell. This, you don't need to try to escape. Jesus going to fight this war for us. Y'all don't need to think about that. It's not your fight. It's Jesus' fight. We waiting on Jesus. That, that was what Massa hired the, the Reverend to do, to stop the other ones from trying to escape. It's still going on today. The rappers are there to keep re-solidifying and reselling the American dream. But the truth is, America is not a nation that can sustain all of its people. It's a capitalist nation. It only can sustain a few rich ones because of that. In other words, in a capitalist nation, there is no sustainability because 1% of people have all the wealth and the crumbs is split, split by the rest of the 99%. So how can you sustain that kind of system? You can't. The currency have to be more balanced. It can't be a few rich motherfuckers and a bunch of poor ones. Eventually, revolution will happen where the peasants revolt. And that's what's happening now because capitalist systems always end in revolutions with the peasants saying, fuck this shit. That's what happened in Egypt, y'all. That's why Egypt fell, because the peasants started rising up against the pharaohs. But when the peasants win the war, guess what they do? They become rulers and pharaohs over people. And the shit keep perpetuating itself until we get somebody that win the war that say, listen, I'm not going to rule over y'all. Y'all ain't going to rule over me. The fighting stops here. We won this fucking war so nobody else can rule over nobody. But the reason the world having a problem to get out of this dog eat dog system of war and capitalism is because when righteous people rise up and win against the oppressor, we become the oppressor. We take that power and start ruling over each other. And so instead of destroying the system, we just want to rule. We don't want to save the world. We want to run it for real. You don't want to destroy the people in power so you can make the world better. You really want to destroy the people in power so you can motherfucking rule them. That's what's been going on. 
So it's a scary world out there because of that. It's a dog eat dog world. And it's all promoted through hip hop. All of these people worship the same deity, the God of money and capitalism. And that's the first Pharaoh, y'all. The Baphomet is the first Pharaoh, okay? The top hat is Freemasonic. His name was Narmer. I'll show you him with his top hat on now. I'll show him to, show him to you now. He was the first one to wear the top hat. This is Uncle Sam. And he, this is the top hat or the fez. This was the first Pharaoh. They had a black version and a white version. This is the uh, black version. I can show you a Greek version of Narmer as well. So they depicted him in many ways, just like they do Christ, Buddha, because all of these gods are just personifications of this first president who created capitalism. Capitalism started in Egypt, y'all, not civilization. Let me tell you something. 